Hello viewers and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you another variation of the blanket stitch. I call it the twin tangled uh, blanket stitch. So here I've drawn a straight line. I have this pink colored thread in my <coughs> needle. I'm going to bring out the needle here at the top to start off the blanket stitch. You can also draw two parallel lines if you want to mark the height of the uh, stitches that you want to take. I only draw a single line here. So here I have done two blanket stitches close to each other. If you see, they are simple blanket stitches done close to each other. Now the thread is up here instead of locking it down I'm going to slide it under these two stitches here and I'm not pricking any fabric I'm only sliding it below and now at a distance I will do the next stitches so these twin uh, blanket stitches are done close to each other then slide the needle from under these two without pricking any fabric and tangle them so that is why I call it the twin tangled blanket stitch I'm sure there is another name for this stitch but I don't know what it is called These are the twin stitches which are tangled with each other. Now where to use this stitch? Well, it uh, can be used in many different ways. You can use this stitch wherever you need an outline plus you can also use it in quilts so if you are doing any quilt and you have a patchwork quilt at, uh, as a work in progress you join two uh, pieces of cloth together and on that joint line where there is a stitch you can uh, do this to highlight that portion or suppose you are you have a kurta uh, you can do two vertical lines with this uh, stitch to entangled uh, blanket running vertically and it looks nice on the sleeves or uh, in the front on the yoke wherever you wish you can use this I hope you have understood how to do the twin tangled blanket stitch now. So I'll do the last one here. You must be wondering why I'm doing so many variations of the buttonhole or the blanket stitch. The thing is there are hundreds of variations possible for each and every stitch. So I thought of showing you all of the variations that I'm aware of. So my uh, thread has come out of the needle. Ne let me put it back and I'll come back and show you how to end it. So I have done these two last blanket stitches. I will take... Uh, I hope it is clear. Just give me a minute. So I will take the thread from under these two last stitches without pricking the fabric and now it is done now I want to end it so I'm going to go down here and close it just to lock that last stitch in and then I will go below and do a knot so this is what I call as the twin tangle blanket stitch hope you liked it keep watching for more video tutorials 
and thanks for watching this one. Thank you.